So let's do it. Raining outside, we have to do where we can do. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Maya channel. And today I just filmed this little introduction just right between the door because the rain is start to coming down outside and there's not so much sun outside. I hope the quality of the video is good enough. So today I want to show you how to make this beautiful high waist bikini bottom which you can also wear into the ocean, to the sea, to the lake, wherever you, wherever you want to go to swim with. And I will link everything down below what kind of yarn I use for this project. And also I want to tell you that I have already published this sweater. <laughs> high waist moon sweater and this time I have created for plus size goddess as well. So if you are plus size goddess, you can also get this sweater and learn to make this pattern with me. And you know what? Now I decided every time I publish the new pattern, I want to give you a treat. So this time when you buy this pattern, you get one pattern free. Any pattern from my shop, you can get it for free, including this bikini bottom. Right. Only 48 hours, I start yesterday, so you have another 24 hours until tomorrow, October 24, 2018, midnight, Germany time zone. So you can grab this pattern now and shoot any one of my designs for free. And if you would like to be part of our testing group, you want to be part of my team, you can also apply to be in the group first on Facebook, the group called Crochet Tribe Maya Luna Corazon and after that when I have a new pattern come out, I always announce in the group and ask for the tester and I'm really looking forward for a plus size woman tester and if you are and if you're very interested to work with me in the team, you can just join us there. I put all the link down below for you as well. And I just want to tell you that this video tutorial today is a little bit long because it's what I already filmed from last year. So it's the way I teach is now evolving and changing. So I hope you didn't mind a 15 minute long. Yeah, just that. I don't want to have an introduction so long. Oh, one more thing I want to tell you. I have low down the price of my pattern, both of Essie and Ravelli. I have low down the price from 7 to 8 euro to 4 to 5 euro because this way you all can afford the pattern. And I know many of you are learning and having Etsy shop and you need to learn in different sizes because in the video tutorial here on YouTube, I only share with you in size XS or S or M because I also need to make a little living for pay the bills, so I need to sell the pattern as well. So this way we both learn and help each other. I have to be true to you because that's the only way I can be true to myself. And thank you so much for being here. You are my tribe. And thank you so much for all the comments from last video. I'm so looking forward to talk with you again on Sunday. And you know what? I'm very excited for more video to come for you. And if you're excited too, just comment down below yes. And I know that you are looking for more videos on your way. Join me on Instagram. You can find me at Maya Luna Corazon. And there I post daily. You can inter interact with me, engage with me, and see my working progress. And also now I start to use more and more in the community page here on YouTube. You can just go to my YouTube and then look in the community I post there. And if you are not yet subscribed, just do it now. Just this little box down there. And if you want to get a notification every time I post a new video, just hit that little bell next to it. And then you get notified every time the new video pop up on my channel. All right, my beautiful friends. I see you next video and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Send you so much love. Bye-bye. Lisa Diva Stretch and I love it. First, I was thinking, oh, the yarn is too thin, but it's so nice on the skin. I made um, high waist panty or you can actually wear it as the bikini bottom and can go in the water as well and i couldn't take it off last night it's just like oh it's so comfortable and so light and you look at this it doesn't look big right but it's so much yarn i did um let me show you i did this one yesterday i mean i finished it yesterday and 
I still have this much of yarn left. Look. Although I also use the new one just a little bit to double the thread together to make the strap because I like it to be a little bit thicker. But still, can you believe it's so much still? One one skin is about um hundred yeah it's a hundred gram it's not about it it is a hundred gram it said everything is in the language that i don't understand but um yeah 100 gram with 400 meter and uh equally 438 yards now i am learning to you know to check also how many yarn how much yarn do I need and I put all the information in my um, in my written pattern as well I just gonna walk you quick what we need actually all the whole thing we need a yarn size 2.5 mm mm. yeah we use this side hook but I also bring this one because I use this three millimeter hook for make the strap because I do a double thread. So I need a little bit bigger hook, but you can either use this one all along. I recommend to use this one for the project because the yarn is quite thin. Then we need a set, um, yeah, sorry, a pair of scissors and the yarn needle. And yeah, we will also need at one point to use the stitch marker. I love this color. This color is number, it said 368. Very beautiful. So to start, I'm going to make my size to chain 56. And you got the chain of your size, then you put your thumb to lock um, the yarn here and then you chain four more to build up the yarn. Okay, four more. Let's count like this. You have four from up there, right? Now we're going to do a double crochet. This is the one that we lock is five, fifth, I mean. Mm, I can try to zoom. Okay. This is fifth, so we're going to do here. We do one double crochet in the stitch, like the six, the stitch number six from the hook. Let's count again to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's here. Do it your size and pass four chain, one double crochet on number six from hook. It's very tiny the space here, but anyway, it's, this is how it, the design, and you will see it later. Now chain one. Oops. <laughs> Chain one, skip one, skip one um, stitch, one double crochet into the next one. Okay, <laughs> so we ha we chain one, skip one, and then we one double crochet in the next. Right. So this is the first row. We do this: chain one, skip one, and one crochet, uh, one double crochet into the next stitch. This is the first pattern of this, first row of this pattern. Skip one. You have to really look, um, not make a mistake because it's very tiny, the yarn. Chain one, skip one. All right, you're going to do this across. So this is our first row. We have something like this. Now the second row. Chain one, skip one, one double crochet. 
chain three turn our work and then we will skip this one you see um, I will call this column. If you have been working with my mermaid dream one piece swimsuit, you know what we are doing right now because we're going to make a shell stitch and we're going to skip <clears throat> these two columns like this one and this one. We're going to um, do a shell stitch in the third column here. Right? And shell stitch in this pattern is to do a three double crochet in the third column right here one two three then chain two and the same the same stitch here do another three double crochet This is how your first chair stitch looks like now. And we're going to skip this, the next column, just right next here, we're going to skip this one. Going to put one double crochet in the next. This one we skip, then we put one double crochet in here. And this is the pattern of the second row. You're going to, from now on, you're going to skip one here i show you one more time. You skip one here and then you put a shell stitch just right to the next. Kind of like skip one at a time, like so. Put. Like that, then skip the next one here and then double crochet. So it's like chair stitch, skip one column, one double crochet in the next column. Skip one column, chair stitch in the next column. Skip one, skip one column, shell stitch in the next one. And you're going to do here like so until the end to finish the second row. Here, you see, I come to the end. And this is like, um, you, if you look at this, this is like the next of the, the next column, right? But then there's one here in the end. So what we're going to do, we're going to find the stitch here. Um, we're gonna skip this one for sure and we're gonna skip one also one single crochet one stitch from here and we're gonna do one just right here and put one double crochet in there to finish this row I'm trying to get two loops if I can you can pull a little bit out and you can see better all right here So this is our second row so far. I love this color. So I have um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven shells stitched. Let's see. Now our third row, chain six. I'm very strong. i very slow 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 with this yarn 
So and we change six and then we we would do a, a single crochet just right on top of this chain stitch. Now we chain three and then we do one double crochet on top of this double crochet from the previous row. This row also go fast. Just chain three and then one single crochet here. Chain three. One double crochet on top of the column. One. You will repeat this across here. Now it's my last one. Chain three. Then double crochet. Just right here in the corner here. I'm going to put in this one. You see, this is the last um, double crochet from shell stitch. I'm going to put into the next one, just this one. Now third row done. Now our fourth rows. The row number four, we chain four. This four we count as one, as one double crochet and chain one, like that. It's okay. You just don't have to know the. Maybe it's just too complicated. Just chain four, and then you put one double crochet in the chain space. So chain one and then one double crochet on top of this single crochet chain one one double crochet and chain space it's so simple chain one and this is gonna be all along uh, one double crochet yeah on top of this uh, double crochet from previous row this is our stitch of this chain one of this row one double crochet and chain space chain one one double crochet on top of the single crochet chain one one double crochet and chain space you see like that this one a little bit too close yeah but anyway just something like this chain one one double crochet on top of double crochet and you're going to do this across here to here so again the last one chain one already then we're going to put one double crochet on third third stitch from turning chain from turn um, yeah that's this from turning chain so one you have to count from down here one two three so it's this one do not skip this otherwise we'll make your mm, your line shorter and it will not balance so our fourth row is done now we do the next one chain three we turn our work then we're just going to put one double crochet again in each um, chain space and one on top of the one double crochet in previous row as well like so, one double crochet and chain space, one double crochet on top of double crochet, one double crochet and chain space, one double crochet on top, like this, double crochet and chain space. Mm. This is one double crochet and chain space, one double crochet on top, one double crochet and chain space, one double crochet on top, one double crochet and chain space, and just this along here. And again, now we arrive here, 
I put already one in chain space and then we have to put one more at the end. Do not forget that. So we're going to put one last one on the third chain, on the third stitch of turning chain. So here, this is our last one. So it's the row number six, we chain four. Just remember every time in this row come chain four and then we will skip not just one but we will skip two stitch from here. I do not count the, the chain four at the moment. Chain four to build up the yarn and you will skip these two. You see these two? The first two you will not do anything and you're going to put one double crochet in the third stitch. Alright? This chain four it's just the border. So chain four and then skip these two and then one double crochet in the next and after that you chain one and skip just one and one double crochet in the next and chain one. Skip one and this is the same. You're going to do this across. Okay. Yeah, just that, just like that. Because, um, let me explain, it's just like the first row, now you remember the first row, we we skip six stitches from hook, because we do uh, 56 plus four, and then we do our first double crochet. We do our first double crochet, this one. Do our first double crochet, on the stitch number six from the hook. So it's the same as this one. We chain four and then we do double crochet. Here is like the number six from the hook. It's the same. So you're going to repeat again and again until you got five child. No, you go only one row, two, three, four, five. When you got, when you already finish here, I will meet you there and then we do the, the last row together. So here I have five rows of the shell stitch design. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to finish the last row on top of that. You can also actually either leave it this way. It's also nice, but I like it to have one more. So I'm going to put more row, the row number three on top of it. And we will finish this this part before we start the side body I will show you. Now we chain six, turn our work, put one single crochet on top of the shell stitch, the chain, chain space here. Then we chain three, now one double crochet on top of the double crochet from previous row. Now chain three one single crochet. So you do this across to the other side. And here the last one. Chain three. And this one. Just right next to the shell stitch from below. Now we complete this. Now we're going to make the side here. We're going to do net, net, or you call like, um, yeah, I show you something like this one. Net style. It's very pretty when you pull the side like so going to make five row of that. So from here directly we chain five. We skip this one then we single crochet here. And then from here we chain three. We skip this one, we single crochet into the next row. 
three. We just skip one row from here, the base of the row. We can see here we skip, and then one single crochet here. Skip one. After some time, you will feel comfortable to work with this yarn. I mean, before I feel a little bit, mm, it's not easy because the yarn is very thin and the hook also small. But yeah, now I feel in the flow. And I really love, love the small yarn because it makes everything look so neat. Okay, here's the last one. The last one you do a little different. Um, gonna do three and then here at the corner here I put one the uh, single crochet not single crochet because at the beginning we have five so three I then will put one half double crochet instead here in the corner put half double crochet here so let's count how many uh, box do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Now the second round, chain five. Turn our work. We skip the first chain space. We do one single crochet in the next chain space. Now chain three. And then we just put one single crochet in each of chain space. And we come to the last one here. The last chain space. We put one single crochet there. And then we chain three. And we put just in the second one from, um, from the first row here. We just put one half double crochet here because we we want to have again 12 boxes in this row as well so you have to count if you start with 12 boxes then you have to make all five rows with 12 boxes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and now we chain five again Turn our work and now you're gonna repeat row two for another three rows in total of five rows. So it's my last row now, it's row number five. I chain one and I will cut the yarn. I web in later. As you can see here, it's like so. I have one, two, three. Hmm. Let me count again. Sometimes can be um, com like confused to see because it's also the whole one, two, three, four, five. Here you see, this is our last row right so we cut from here one two three four five perfect now you're going to do the same i reckon to also um start from this side and then you will finish up here the same i don't know you can do the other way but that's that's how i i like to do so you're going to make this again this side and after that you will make one more like this repeat exactly the same steps that we had made this one one more like this and we will do the part together later on Um, yeah, let's start it. 
So when you have this part already, that I asked you to to do two. This is size small actually. Now I before I, was, I mentioned that is for small and medium, but yeah, I I make different size for medium. Medium is a little bit wider at the front. This will fit. Um, yeah, this is my size. Even though I have a hip like 36 inches you will have to check on the side chart because my side chart can be different from other people's side chart as well so when you have one of these you just take one that you wanted to use in the front we're gonna make in the front so take the one that you want to be the front and as you see here is this side the shell stitch is like up I call it up I don't know how you call it so we go you we turn it the other way around this is the bottom can you see it's different this kind of like up and this I wanted to stay like this on our our stomach our belly and under here is a part we're gonna crochet <coughs> the underwear at the bottom so we turn it over and now you have to count it doesn't matter what size you are making just count like so here one the the five stitch that the five row extra that we make here we don't do anything but just count again that you not accidentally crochet in that one two three four five so this is like the first stitch this curve one and because this is one and then the chain space also another like one two three four we're gonna count four here and four here. We're gonna minus eight stitches. So four into, from the right and four from the left. All right, so one, two, three, four, which means we're gonna start from here. And as I have 56 stitches, I will start from here, slip knot, and I will arrive four stitch before the end which I will have 48 stitches in total so let's start it doesn't matter how many you have you just have to minus four from the right and four from the left okay and now we're gonna slip knot chain two the bottom the bikini bottom we gonna use um this one i don't count as one stitch this is just like uh, the building to building the yarn so i'm just gonna put the hook again in the same space and i make one half double crochet the bottom part we're going to make half double crochet along uh, the whole thing so one and then here the column i put the hook in there as well two yeah and then the chain space and then the column like so you put one in chain space and one on the top of the column just along and stop right four stitch before the last four stitch so I got here 48 stitches in total from here to here and exactly I have four stitch left here one two three and four can you see this one is one chain space and one and the second one is in the column one two and then chain space three and then in the end four because from here is like a five extra row, right? So what we're going to do, um, the next row, we're just going to chain two, turn our work, and we're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch along. So this second row, we will also have 48 stitches. So the pattern is like so. The next one we would do decreasing in the front, in the starting, the beginning and in the end, like two together. So we're going to do one 
just simple one double crochet stitch each, each <laughs> sorry and then the next row we do decreasing so from for me for this side for side s like from 48 the first row the second row is also 48 one stitch is and then the third row will be 46 because i'm gonna do decreasing and the fourth row will also be 46 and then the fifth row i will have 44 and then this row number six i will also have 44 so it's going to be like um, one decrease one one stitch is along across and one decreasing until you arrive at um, the stitch number 36 when you got 36 stitches only then we continue something else from there so here my second row also 48 stitches then I chain two and now I show you the decreasing row the third row so there's so many ways to make a decreasing and I do this way you're welcome to do the same I chain two put the hook there one time then two times I have three in my hook and then I pull all three together as if it's a half double crochet so I do this when I do half double crochet stitch and I do double crochet when I do double crochet stitch if you know what I mean. So this is how I decreasing the, the row or the stitch. This like two become one and then you do just one double uh, one half double crochet along across like so. Till you arrive here to the end then you're gonna do the same the last two you're gonna put together I I encourage you to count the stitch because the yarn is so fine and sometimes we don't see the stitch so it's make sure that you have decreased only two stitch in one row you know so one one this row is decreasing and then the next row is no decreasing one decrease and the next one is just one stitch each across um yeah i will meet you when you got total of 36 stitches the second row after decreasing this is my last row of 36 stitches if you make different size probably your one gonna be shorter or longer yeah um, let me run through to you remember the first one we just do um, to have the base from here to here my one I have 48 and the second row we didn't do any decreasing or anything we just do one stitch in each um, one half double crochet in each stitch across also 48 stitches and we start to decreasing on our third row which is this one this decreasing so this one I have 46 and then the next row I just do one half double crochet across I also have the uh, 46 and then this row I have 44 this one I have 44 as well because I repeated no decreasing and next one I have 42, this one I have 42, this one I have 40, this one I have 40, this one I have uh, 38, and this one I have 38. This one decreasing, I have 36, and this one no decreasing, I have also 36. So now we have 36. From now on, we're going to decrease every row, which means the next one will be 34, and then the next one we would not repeat 34 34 we will be 34 and then 32 and then 30 and then 28 we're going to decrease every single row until we arrive at 14 stitches so here are my 14 stitches now we're going to make um, 13 uh, if you like it to be 14 you can also do the middle part as 14 but I'm going to show you my way and the design I made so I'm going to chain two 
turn out work and then this row I just do simple one half double crochet in each in each stitch for six six stitch one two three four five six and now I'm gonna decrease this two put them together as one so seven and then the rest I will just do one half double crochet in each, in each stitch across another six So now I got 13 this row and from here we're going to make another 13 uh, 13 row of 13 stitch okay so I'm just going to move this stitch marker up here now just going to put here Now we're going to do one half double crochet in each of 13 stitch that we have for another 13 rows. So this is the uh, 13 rows, the extra 13 rows and I chain one, I cut the yarn. I will sew it in later with another part, the back part. I put this aside and this one is the back part um, as I mentioned before this is a little mess here but uh, yeah I will sew it in later so when you have the back part make sure that you going to do in the right direction again look at look for the shell the shell have to be up like so and we're gonna crochet from the bottom part here so here we we will not count or decrease anything yet we're just gonna count these five extra row one two three four five and right here in this corner just here in this corner directly we're going to slip knot for me I have 56 stitch 56 stitches I'm going to do all 56 stitches because the back part I like to be a little wider than the front so from here until one, two, three, four, five, oh. one, two, three, four, five, until here, here until here, 56. So if you have 56 stitches, you will do the same. And if you have like more or less, like for side M, L, X, L, how many stitches you have, you're just going to do from here until here, minus the, the five extra row. Don't do anything there right okay so now we're going to slip knot I chain two I just put some light because it's getting dark I prefer natural light but <laughs> now we I mean it's like the sun is setting so I I put two chain I don't count it as a half double crochet so in the same stitch put the hook in and I make half double crochet here's my one, first one and then again in the chain space Put that two, just one each, one in chain space and one on the col column. Yeah, you're going to do this until you ride the other side. So here's the 56 stitches I have done. And as you see here, it's not so pretty. 
which normally I will have to do or want to do everything the whole piece again I will not let this happen but just because I really want to finish the tutorial video for you before we are going to be on the road again so just ignore this not pretty part but I will explain to you still and you will understand how to make this piece all right so now the second row now I have 56 stitches and then the second row I'm going to do again the same thing chain two I turn the work and I'm going to do one half double crochet across in total of 56 stitch like the first row second row done so basically we're going to do the same thing with the front so you are now going to do a decreasing row so the next one like now I have 56 so the next one I will make decreasing at the beginning and in the end I will have 54 and then the next row I will just repeat of 54 stitches I will not decrease anymore so you're going to make the next row decreasing and then one more row just simple one half double crochet across and then the next row decreasing and then the next row just simple one half double crochet across just decreasing every two rows like that and so we are almost there oh this light is pretty good it's not as pretty or nice as the daylight but i think with this light i can make many tutorial in the night <laughs> if you able to see you can leave in the comment box if the light in the evening or the night like this is good enough so i'm able to make more tutorial for you okay so here is my last row of 38 stitches so this one okay this is um the normal one let's say it's not the decreasing one because this is the decreasing row this row um yeah this row is decreasing row and this is the one that not decreasing so you're going to finish the last row with 38 stitches of one half double crochet in each stitch across and now we're going to do decreasing every row so so from now we're going to do 36 34 32 30 28 24 22 and so on until you arrive 14 stitches and then you will make one extra row of 13 do you remember how we did it so here's my 14 i just made um, the last row before we do actually the final row this is the one before the final let's say that <laughs> it's really late and i'm so tired I'm gonna finish it now together with you so this row is 14 and i told you that you probably remember how to do it but i feel like i want to, to do this with you so now we're going to do the the 13th stitch the last row for the back part so chain two and then now we don't in don't decrease anymore we just put one two three Five, six, yeah, one half double crochet, six stitches, and then we decrease here in the seven and eight. We make just one, so seven, six, seven, and now we're just gonna do one half double crochet and another six stitches. and 13 all right we 
done. And now we're going to chain one and cut the yarn. I'm not going to cut so long because we have the other side long enough to sew it in. Yay! I'm so happy we finished it. Now we remove this. I mean, we are almost finished. Just finish this crochet, half double crochet part. You see, now we have these two, two parts, like so. This is the back. And this is the front. Maybe we should sort in first, then we can see. I'm gonna put this together like so. I like to just use the yarn needle to sort in. I take this one and I put from here first. And I find a stitch here. Make sure that you take two of the loop. I like to do it one more time. To secure it. <coughs> Just stick it like so. So this is what we have so far. I I have not finished the thread yet. I'm trying, but it's not in the right angle to do. But yeah, I just want you to see the finished piece. Probably you have something like this by now. And you have to wrap all the thread in nicely. And that's it for here. Um, okay. For the legs part, what I did, you can hear I double the thread. So I use two string. I use two string of the same color actually, but just the light, the flash just make different color. So I use two string double. I double it and I use the hook number three millimeter, the side three millimeter to crochet the string. Um, this one is a little bit short. You can, this one is like 300 chain, but I suggest you to make 400 chain and you need to make two of these and you're done. <laughs> I'm gonna wave it in and you see the photo later on thank you for watching and yeah see you next time bye